I'm going to cite a discussion you had with a commentator. I do follow Vosh. Uh, do you remember yeah, that? I debated him. Hard, yeah. hard to forget. Yeah. You guys look alike. Yeah. Gotta love the white denim jacket. Looks horrible. Very funny. Yeah. Um, in that debate, I agree with what he said there of... That's not really, I feel like, a valid point in this instance because my take is nationalized pharmaceutical industry. Oh, okay, right, but so, but let, let's put that aside. In that instance, that doesn't but really work. Do, let me you. ask you a question. Would it bother yeah. you that a company stands to profit a lot of money mm -hmm. to get kids to do something they can't reverse? I think it's bad when a company does like anything that is coercive. So in that instance, yes. Okay, okay but that's what that's the pusher of this stuff, though. Like the Boston Children's Hospital, Nashville. To, well, well, hold on. The hospitals stand to make a ton of money. This is true. Right? That's how... Okay, so so, so that make you doubt a, doubt a little bit? Like, we don't have nationalized health care. You want it. I don't. But, okay. Yeah. But when I see a big company that is pushing this on kids or stands to benefit from it, then... When you're saying pushing this on kids, can you elaborate a bit on that? Yeah, I mean, for example, they are normalizing through donations to transgender groups that this is okay. <laughs> donations from pharmaceutical companies to transgender activist groups saying that this is okay for a 15-year-old to be able to do. So, like, let's find some common ground. Can we at least say, wait till you're 18? I disagree. I believe that in instances where not getting that surgery could lead to suicide or oh, okay, okay. So let's ask, yes. this is a provocative question. Do you Go think ahead. they might have other mental health issues besides gender dysphoria? Oh, yeah, a lot of people. Okay, why don't we address those first? A lot of people often do. Most of the people who okay. are going for these surgeries are already in therapy. Right, but would you agree that benzodiazepines and other psychiatric medication is probably not the first intervention we should use for kids? when they're 14, 15, or 16. It depends on the level. If someone is like actively almost about to kill themselves, I would say- Okay, fine. It depends is a mature questions. answer, by the way. I, I respect you for that. Yeah. So you, my position, I think you'd understand, is kid, kids are worthy of protection. Yes. Okay, if you're 20 years old and you're an adult and you want to make this decision, don't call it medicine. You could call it cosmetic. Can okay. I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, fine. So I'm going to go back to circumcision because this is again a point you Okay. Should we outlaw circumcision until, like, if someone wanted to get circumcised? No, be, like, no, because there, first of all, there's there's religious reasons for it. Second of all, there's there is a conflicting. But we let I've, I've actually looked into this quite a lot. There's a there's a conflicting amount of hygienic data too, saying that it's it's better to circumcise a child. Can I ask a question? But there's other data to to, to, to oppose it. Sure. Are you in favor of female genital mutilation? Absolutely not. That's it's what, a religious practice. With and, it, and a rather and a rather cruel one. Yes. Yes. I would argue but, that but there is, is also there is no there well. is no medical upside to FGM though. There is a medical upside potentially for circumcision. Potentially. This medical upside is incredibly minimal though. You no. admit this yourself, I believe. I, I say it's conflicting. So I don't want to spend too much time on the circumcision debate, but um, closing argument. Go ahead. Uh, I guess my closing argument is trans healthcare is good. I think that fundamentally the best thing for people is people to live their lives right. with agency, freedom to do what so they want. Let happiness. me can I ask you one question? Go ahead. What is a woman? My simple answer to what is a woman is anyone who identifies as a woman. No, no, but what is a woman? No, tell me what the woman, not, no, don't use the answer in the definition, like the definition, of the like what is the word woman? Woman is whatever the societal construct of a woman is. Yeah, so what is that? Exactly. I guess in the United States we would have certain... Here, what is a woman? In America or in a different country? Answer the question, what is a woman? In America or in a different country? We are in America, at least if I we're in America, think so. Then what a woman is, is what we generally perceive to be as such, which would be someone with right. feminine features usually defined okay. by XY so, chromosomes. So or XX feminine chromosomes. features, yes. okay. G generally? Generally speaking. Of course, there what, are cis women who okay. are like six feet tall, broad jaw, uh, you know, big ass abs. You know, there's cis women like that, of course. Right. Do you, do you think men can become pregnant? Uh, men can generally not become pregnant unless, of course, you know, born XX, transition to male. Okay, so men potentially can become pregnant. Yes, if they are transitioning to male.